Hello guys, my name is Nato, Sapphics, and today we have another video, and this time it is made by none other than the man himself, not out here. Watch through the entire video to ensure a competitive edge in your future games, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe in celebration of this man's very hard work for us every single week. Without further ado guys, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of the video. Before we get further into the video, I want to introduce my sponsor, Leadify an AI system that analyzes your matches from face it, eSpurl, and matchmaking. Leadify lets you know what you're doing good in and what needs to be improved. They have training recommendations to help you raise your game to the next level. My favorite thing about Leadify is this positional map, which shows you the areas that you're performing well and poorly in. Another great feature is the utility map that shows you your most common flashes and smokes. Leadify will analyze how effective they are. Lastly, I love the weapon recoil analysis, which shows you your spray patterns versus how they should be sprayed. Leadify is free to use, so if you want to improve your game, check out the link below in the description and comment section. Nerd out here showing ancient pro Nate's tips and tricks. The majority of this video consists of Nate's and utility thrown by the pros and the first ancient officials, which will help you all get a better grasp of the map. First I'm going to cover the T side, then CT. Let's get into it. We are going to begin in T spawn looking at mid smokes. Steeko smokes house from spawn by getting in front of the rock, aims at this part of the tree, then walks half a step and jump throw. Synapse smokes house from top rock, aims in this area, then walks half a step and jump throw. Here's another way to smoke house. Emmy will position as shown, aims at this part of the line, then jump throw. Plopsky has his own house smoke where he positions as shown, then aims at this part of the line and jump throw. There are way more ways to throw the house smoke from spawn, but let's take a look at the instant house smokes that you can line up in freeze time, then throw it when the round starts, thus making the smoke land faster. From the left spawn, Matt just aims here, takes half a step forward, and jump throw. The next spawn to the right where Refresh has, he will be aiming here, then walks half a step forward, then jump throw. Towards the back right, Plopsky aims at this part of the wall, then walks half a step forward and jump throw. The last instant house smoke is his far right spawn. Aim at this corner of the wall above the bricks, then walk a half a step forward and jump throw. You can see how fast the smoke lands and blooms before the CT can get out of house. Moving on from house smokes from spawn, you could also smoke off tunnels. Get in this back corner, aim at this top of the roof, then walk and jump throw when you hit the bottom of the top square. Besides G2, FPX also throw their smoke. Pair their smoke up with your house smoke, and you have a good side of smokes to help take fast mid control. Jerry smokes window staying in front of the rock, aims at this square, then jump throw. Forza uses this smoke for one of their mid control setups. To help take early mid control, you can throw flashes over this roof after you throw your smokes. That's it for mid nades from spawn. The last spawn smoke I want to show is this cheetah smoke. This is a must throw smoke every round to deny the CTs in cave and cheetah vision to allow your teammates to cross lane to window to get mid control if need be. A lot of pros have been missing this smoke or the smoke goes out too far, blocking off lane. Here's how to throw it. Stand in front of the rock, aim here at the line above the triangle, run one step forward and jump throw. Make sure you practice this smoke, otherwise it can be very easily be misthrown. This smoke blocks off Cheetah, allowing your team to go through doors to lane and towards mid without being spotted. Here in this round, NIP will take mid control by coming through lane and elbow. Let's keep going on with mid nades, but from other positions than spawn. First up is Molly mid cubby. Crims backs up till he hits a wall, aims here, then runs one step forward and jump throw. What if elbow is smoked off and you want a molly cubby? GXX has a way of doing so. Position to the right of the vines, aim to the top right of this brick, run one step forward and jump throw. Jax has a house smoke he throws after the mid cubby molly. I'll show how to throw both after his POV ends because he's going to get smoked off when he throws his house smoke. For the position of the molly, it's pretty forgiving, so just come along this wall and find this shadow here, 
aim mid shadow and to the left of it, run one step forward and left click throw. As you can see the molly covers the whole cubby. Now for the smoke, you want to position with the end of this brick, then aim at this dark spot on the wall and jump throw. Now let's see this combo in real time. Another way to smoke house is to get behind this wall, aim to right of this black mark, then jump throw. You want to learn how smokes in positions closer to mid because it will help you mid round. Instead of running back to spawn, plus you're closer and can help take mid right after. You can also smoke house from window. Your kinder gets in front of the box, aims at this part of the brick, runs one step forward and jump throw. This is much more risky because you're exposed to mid and anyone pushing up or peeking from tunnels. Besides the house smoke, mid round you can also pair up with the tunnel smoke to help take mid control. From outside elbow, Jax gets under this part of the window, aims at this part of the wood with the vertical line, then left click throw. Another way to smoke mid tunnels is from window, stand position as shown while standing, aims at this part of the wall then jump throw. One strat you could do with this smoke that I've seen pro teams doing is to get into the smoke, wait for it to fade, then split A. CT sometimes smoke deep elbow to take mid control and VP set up the boost in anticipation of the smoke to peek over the smoke to see if anyone goes towards window. Ticker's gonna spot SDY however doesn't get the kill. Mid round after James smokes house in Molly's cubby, he gets run boosted out mid, similar to mid on Mirage however he won't find anyone. This was the first run boost I've seen used in a pro ancient match. After getting out mid, James will scale up on window towards this ledge and he uses it to peek towards tunnels as an off angle, however won't spot anyone here either. Now let's move on to the A site where Emmy smokes CT by crouching in this cubby corner outside A main, aims here then jump throw while crouch. This smoke is useful in blocking off mid rotators. If you're to the left inside A main and want to smoke CT, you can aim in this gap between the wall and leaf, walk one step forward and left click throw. James smokes tempo from outside A main. He crouches to positions as shown, then stands up, aims here and jump throw. The smoke lands inside mid tempo and blocks off both sides. This smoke is really good to block off any rotators coming through tempo as they won't have vision to peek either side. Here we see Dexter who rotates from mid, he goes through tempo however when he gets there, this smoke is so deep that he can't see anything. Keep in mind that an upper staying towards outside parts of temple on either side will still have vision and main and that's where your flashes will need to do work. Before we move on, if you want to see where this smoke goes as well as many other ancient nades that did not make this video, join my discord. Next up are tunnel smokes. Golden will position mid stone rail, stands up, aims above this X and jump throw. When smoking tunnels, you want your smoke to go deep and not to come out towards A because CTs then can play behind it. Zen smokes tunnels from outside A main cubby, positioned with this line, aims at the bottom part of this square, then walks half a step forward and jump throw. The next set of smokes are triple smokes. Next is going to position himself in the back corner of outside A main cubby, crouches, aims at this dark mark on the wall, then he will stand up and jump throw. Yekinder smokes left triple from outside elbow. He positions with this wall, then aims at this yellow part of the leaf and jump throw. The last A smoke I'm gonna show is this lurk smoke's deco throws. This smoke acts similar to your dust 2 tunnel smoke where you can come out behind the smoke and get boosted, execute behind the smoke, or have your lurker throw it to bait nades. The smoke blocks you from sight, but be careful as it does leave a gap to the left. FPX will try to execute through the smoke, but unfortunately it doesn't go as planned. Here's the gap I was talking about. You can see here Nexus trying to peek to see if anyone's there. Alright, so you'll get alongside this wall here, aim in the middle of the wall, then left click throw. This smoke gives you a lot of cover to lurk out. Here's the gap that we saw from earlier, and now from CT side towards plat, here's what the smoke looks like. 
The smoke will give you cover as long as you're towards the boost. If you're coming out towards the gap, you're going to be exposed if someone's holding plat and peeking towards the gap. When you're executing A, there are two set of flashes that should be thrown. The first set of flashes are through the A main roof. These flashes will blind plat, single, triple. You'll see here from Nexa and Hunter's POV, the two G2 players holding A get blind multiple times from the roof flashes. The next set of flashes are towards this left cubby. It's very similar to your left cubby on B site, thus too, when you're entering out tunnels. You're going to go out with these flashes and they'll blind the enemy but not you. Mir holding behind single gets obliterated by the flashes. These flashes work very well if anyone's holding from temple. As you can see, Dexter was holding from the right and he gets flashed off the angle. Here's a simple temple molly Farlick throws from main. You'll aim at this wall, then run one step forward and left click throw. It's a forgiving molly. Another useful molly is for triple. Sanji's gonna aim here, coming out of main, runs one step forward and left click throw. The last molly I'm gonna show you at A is at the start of the round. Each side is gonna molly each other's A main entrance. However, both sides can get into A main before the molly burns. So that's something to note even if you throw the molly, the opposition can be in A main already. Another thing to know about the T side A main molly is that it won't cover the whole CT entrance for A main, which they can go around towards the other side. That's it for A, let's go on to the B bomb site. The first thing I want to cover are ramp nades. What you can do is molly top ramp at the start, which can delay the CT's ramp control progression, just like a car molly would on Inferno. This is a simple left click throw while running when you see this wall. Remember, just because you molly top ramp doesn't mean the CTs can't push through it. Instead of molly, you can also instead smoke off the same wall. Imagine as a top banana smoke. It denies vision and information from the CTs and allow you to push up to the right cubby if you want to. Another way to smoke ramp is to get alongside these rocks outside B, aim at this leaf, then jump throw. Now this smoke FPX uses doesn't land top ramp and it lands mid ramp. The smoke will still allow you to go to that ramp cubby on the right and from there you can boost to see over the smoke. You could also tie these two ramp nades together by smoking top and molly mid, which if the CTs push through without smoking out the molly, they'll get punished, which you see Rome loses most of his health running down ramp and Almazar kills him through the smoke. Saw attempts to get ramp control by smoking door and bottom ramp, however that molly hurts Rome as he runs down ramp into Almazar's mid ramp molly and into his teammate's bottom ramp molly. The last T ramp nade I'll be showing is a flash. Imagine it as your window flash for banana. LNZ stands outside B near the wall, aims at this part of the window, and left click throw. This flash is really good to blind anyone holding top ramp, pushing ramp, or even opping from behind stairs. Golden holding from top ramp gets obliterated and sent to the shadow realm. This time we see Zen throwing a similar flash except above the building. His flash as well as Omex ramp flash blinds Jax trying to push down ramp and fire like boost it kills him. Moving on from ramp nades, pros have been using this bottom ramp box boost quite frequently. It gives you high ground to get a better angle and position, making it easier for you to get a pick. Here we see James picking off chopper jump spotting from stairs. Here we see the boost used again and by being on top of the box you avoid getting molly bottom ramp from the CTs, which when Rome gets flashed through the smoke, Almazer who isn't mollyed out pops out and kills him from top box. I want to talk about timings towards B. Yukinir is one of the worst B spawns and he's going to be able to rush through doors, up lane, going past the CT's door smoke and bottom ramp nades before they can even bloom as well as the lane molly. He makes his way past Cheetah before getting killed from a mid player. You see the Cheetah smoke I showed earlier from spawn giving him cover. Had there been no one towards window, Yukinir would have free room to cross over towards mid. Let's go over some cave smokes. Shush will stand in the back corner outside B, aims here then jump throw. Hanfa shows us another way to smoke cave by staying left of the box, aims here, then jump throw. Farlick smokes long stairs by staying in front of this white ledge, aims at this part of the wood, then jump throw. Another way to smoke long stairs is to stand in front of the box, aim at this tree, then left click throw. Kidian smokes long square outside B in the corner while standing aims at the short leaf then jump throw. Haroi uses the smoke instead of the long stairs smoke because they want to be able to take control of stairs and clear it and not have to worry about being spammed or anybody going through the smoke. 
Galito smokes short in Molly's pillar. He positions himself with the X on a door. As for the smoke, he aims at the tip of this leaf, then left click throw. For the pillar of Molly, he will aim at the corner of this building, then left click throw. Another way to smoke short is to stand in front of this X, aim at this corner of the building, then left click throw. Stiko shows us another way to smoke short if ramp is smoked off. He gets in the corner, aims at this part of the wall, then without moving his crosshair, moves up to the cubby and comes off the wall and left click throw. This is a forgiving smoke so don't worry if you don't know how much you're supposed to move away from the wall before throwing. As long as you have the initial lineup correct, it is fine. Next, let's go over some ninja mollies. Stown next to the door, aims at this part of the wall, then left click throw. Emmy stands inside the right door, aims at the bottom of the V the buildings form, then left click throw. The last way I'm going to show the ninja mall is to stand in the back wall near the X, aim top ladder, and below the U and left click throw. Stown has a nice flash of clear cheetah, stands in the right corner of wood, aims at the top of the stone, then jump throw. This flash will blind anyone to the left when you enter cheetah, however it won't blind anyone in the cave doorway. VP throws the same flash, however they pair it with a doorway molly because they know the flash doesn't cover doorway, the molly will push back any oppers holding. There's two flashes that you should throw to take B sight. The first one is some type of flash that lands above stairs which covers cave, ninja, and sight. Your teammates can scale up with those flashes. As you saw, you could throw them as a set flash or you could just wing the flash over the stairs. Here I'm just showing the stairs flash covering multiple positions but you'll see it won't cover short or long which leads into the next flash which I'm going to show after this segment. The second set of flashes thrown are ones that directly go over the site. These flashes will blind the short and long players. Now you want to throw these set flashes early otherwise you'll blind your ramp teammates. Here's the effect of flashes going over site which blinds anyone holding ramp from short as well as covering anyone playing stairs at long. Now onto the CT side. From spawn you can smoke B doors, position with this rock, then aim at the left circle and you'll walk forward and jump throw when you hit the top of this wall. Let's look at some mid control nades as a CT. Refresh stand next to the left wall, throws a deep elbow smoke aiming at this part of the vine then left click throw. Then he will throw a molly in front, in front of the smoke however his molly doesn't go deep enough to where there's a small gap that T's can stand had they gone past the smoke. Coming out of CT spawn, get on the left wall, aim at this part of the vine, then left click throw the smoke. As for the molly, you want to aim more towards the middle and right of this wall, and run and left click throw. This molly has a wide spread, and it even gets this corner right here. If you have a teammate, you could throw the same set of nades. Here, Glaive first one out will molly close while matches smoke's elbow. Glaive flashes after molly in case anyone's close prior to peeking. He waits for the smoke to bloom before peeking in case anyone's holding deep elbow. I think Magis would have flashed for a Glaive had he had one instead of Glaive flashing for himself because if FPX comes out fast mid, you don't want Glaive being mid motion flashing plus he throws a bounce flash. This flash wouldn't be as effective as if Magis was flashing up top which would give it a pop making it more effective. When CTs have mid control, you could use it to either hold mid from window or even push into window and help take lane control. If you have a teammate, you could do two mollies for elbow. Crims aims at this wall and as he is about to head down the stairs, he left clicks throw the molly as he goes down. Here is Crims throwing it in real time. Crims who had the better spawn mollies deep, Brolin the second player will molly close. Here's a nice flash Omnic throws that lands behind the left boxes. It won't blind you coming down but it will blind the T's coming out elbow. Forcey is going to come out fast mid and Sadoto throws a nice self pop flash off the tunnel wall and blinds the Forcey players but he's unable to finish the kill. Fnatic also come out fast mid, Device throws the same flash which will delay them, pushing them back and Device works around the defensive smoke and gets a kill off of it and falls back. Another flash you can throw at mid is towards B lane. Blink has players going up towards window, then Galito jump throws a flash and they swing off of it. However, Relaxa, who got flash, is able to fall back, and Grusa inside Cheetah picks off the first player swinging. 
We've got a similar setup, except this time a buy round. Roland does a flash towards lane. Crims who jumps up to window gets two kills off of it. Besides having a window player peek and push towards lane, you could have your cheetah player come out with this flash. One trick you can do when coming out to mid is if you time it right, you could block the T's house smoke depending on which one they throw. Hunter throws a smoke for house stairs that gave him cover to contest mid. He's in the back left corner of house, aims here at the wall then left click throw. Hunter will then come out and use the cover of the smoke and gets a kill into Steeko from the ledge and then takes cover behind the smoke. Now to A, as I showed earlier, T's and CT's both get into A main about the same time, depending on the spawn give or take. Here we see Nexa and Steeko get into A main, and they both maul each other's entrances and go past the mollies. The thing is when T's molly A main, the CT's can swing to the right side because the T's molly can't cover the whole entrance. One odd peek you could take as a CT towards main if you have the spawn is to rush into main and peek left side. Especially if you know if they haven't been mauling it, you could punish the T's, which Kicker does so by killing Mir here. In this clip, we see Kenzie take A main control by mauling A main to start, then he goes towards the right side, jumps over to avoid getting shot at, then smokes it off. Then he falls back to this off angle here. This is a very risky play to go into A main by yourself as a CT without support, seeing how the T's can meet you in A main around the same time. Plus, Kenzie did not have any teammates nearby at all, all his teammates was towards aggressive mid. There's a safer nade set to take main control where Shush Molly's main to start, falls back to boost, to smoke main where he aims at this yellow dot on the leaf below the cut, then left and right click jump throw. Speaking of boost, as a CT you can self boost yourself by getting on the dragon, then jump onto the sign and lastly from there onto boost. This position Shush holds on top of the dragon and peeking the space between the wall and sign is a nasty off angle that I've seen from officials that were able to shut down some A main executes. Here Shush gets the first kill and then he's able to fall back afterwards safely. Nexa holds A main by jump spotting single, he sees the lurk smoke come out from FPX and counters with his own smoke and nade. I just wanted to show the jump spot here, he could also have laid the smoke to his right like a dust tube B side smoke if he wanted to. Last thing I'm going to show on A site is that you can throw flashes over the skybox towards mid to support your mid players like you would on Mirage. Shush throws a flash that blinds three of the Imperial players helping his teammates shut down the mid take. Earlier I showed the spawn to door smoke, you could also smoke door from back halls which Tessis does here. I'll show you the lineup here after this clip ends. When Tessus gets to the end of this box on the right, he aims to the left of this brick, runs one step forward and left click throw. There's a combo you can throw as you come out short by smoking and mauling front door by nading off the left ramp wall. I'll show you the lineups after this clip ends. As you're coming out of short when you see this plant, aim at it and while you're running forward left click throw. Then for the molly you'll aim here at this part of the wall and walk one step forward and left click throw. Whatever you do, don't run because the molly will be overthrown and it gets put out by your door smoke. Here's a nice flash Hampus throws at the start that can either be used for defensively or offensively. Here's how to throw the flash. Get alongside this wall, aim at this part of the wall, then jump throw. Another ramp flash you can throw that goes deep is this one LNZ throws where he is on the right short wall, aims here, near the branch, then left click throw. Shush has a pair of flashes he throws off the left wall to blind anyone bottom ramp. He throws them as his teammates rush down ramp. The first flash he is behind the pillar, aims here, then left click throw. For the second flash he moves forward, crouches, aims at this part of the tree, then left click throw. The flashes assist on the kill on Fasten. Hampus also has a nasty bottom ramp flash where he gets behind stairs, aim here, 
then left click throw. This flash bounces off the box and flashes anyone bottom ramp as well as lane. The device is going to smoke door from this right wall then jump throw. But that's not what I wanted to show, it's the next part, is where he goes long and holds for the box boost right away, seeing how frequent T's are using this box boost. The device will get an early pick into Jekinho. See T's can get into Cheetah before T's can cross or are crossing lane to window. That's why T's smoke off Cheetah right away from spawn. With this information known, there are molly CTs can throw to slow down the progression. Roland throws his running jump throw lane molly as he is coming out short. I'm going to show you how to do so. Roland towards the left short wall aims at the stairs here and before he reaches this white wall on the right, he will left and right click jump throw while he is running forward. The molly slows down NIP's progression and it allows Fnatic mid players to go up to window if they want. You could also throw this molly that lands closer towards the box. The Fnatic player does put out the smoke which gives NIP info that there is one player that could have potentially crossed the lane. LNC coming around this back hall into short aims at this leaf and while running forward left click throw. The next step is to dunk a nade on top of your molly because if T's think they can just run through the lane molly and or smoke it out while they push up, you can nade them which Sanji does here and does good damage to magics. I would love to see two nades in the same area from the CTs. To throw the molly, Sanji's on the left short wall, aims at this stone on the floor and walks forward until he hits the pillar and while walking still jump throw. As for the HE grenade, he's at the end of the left short wall, aims at the stairs and jump throw. Nico's gone in molly wood and then he pushes into cheetah which he will use this smoke he throws off the wall here and then he comes out with it onto platform. The smoke gives him cover to advance where he finds Farlik on boost and then after he kills him he safely falls back. Sanji inside cheetah uses a crack in the wall to spot if anyone is coming up lane which he spots a T. He attempts to spam the wall and throws a smoke and falls back. Showtime Molly's lane, then he will flash out his teammates out Cheetah. Tessus, who gets flash, is able to sneak into wood as the Molly ends, and he's able to recover from the flash and he kills CK Zhao. That's the end of the video. Please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I worked super hard in this video gathering all the clips and putting them together. I greatly appreciate it if you take the time to do so. It would mean a lot to me and it will help grow my channel. Till next time, Nardout here, peace.